What's going on, man? Uh, first episode of my little interview and shit. Uh, talks with the films. Today we got twenty two from the block. Twenty two from the block, man. How you been? How you shit. been? Shit, good. Just making music with my niggas and shit. Just That's what's up, man. Saying out the way for real. Let me see that light on you get done. But uh, shit, man. You know, you said you was making music with your niggas and shit, man. Y'all got like a group name or a gang. I know it, but you gotta let them know. You feel me? Four four three babies. You can look us up on anything. YouTube four four three babies. You can look us up on uh, Instagram Nine Block Boys E and T. You feel me? We everywhere, bro. We done been in Atlanta. We done been out everywhere for real. You feel yeah, me? Traveling and shit, huh? Traveling, traveling. Yeah, yeah, the D. So, y'all know I don't really do these interviews, so I definitely wrote on a piece of paper what the hell I was going to say. <laughs> um, let's go with the first question. Um, I really want to ask you, what's your biggest music influence? Like, who you grow up listening? Not even who you grow up listening to. Like, what's your biggest influence right now? Like, out of all the artists you listen to, like, who you listen to? I'm like, yeah, like, that nigga cold for real. I can probably take a couple things from him and learn, you know? I'd say that, that nigga 21 Savage. 21 Savage. 21 Savage. <coughs> so you basically like, you fucking with the Atlanta feel, huh? Yeah, hell you know, yeah. I got up. some niggas down there and shit. Some blood niggas and crip niggas down that bitch. That's what's up. So like, you're not a blood nor a crip, huh? I'm a Rona 20s crip. Okay, 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 okay. <coughs> so like, do you think like fucking with crips and fucking with bloods, like you, you feel like it's like, it's cool to do that or you feel like, I mean, like it's not cool to you just know what I mean? Or it's just certain niggas in the group, like, you know what I'm saying? That's like bloods that you be like, okay, that nigga still a money, money, uh, money making me. nigga, you know what I mean? He cool for real. See me for real, I'm a nigga, if you a real nigga and we, we can get some money together, fuck it, bro, you feel me? But me and my nigga, it's only two of us that's crips in the game for real, you feel me? Out of nine block? Okay. Yeah. Everybody else just <coughs> from the street. <coughs> Me and bro, we didn't really ask for that shit. It's just something we got into because the fam, like, they, they already crips, you feel me? So they already made us do this shit. It was, it was no choice. So um, what's the meaning behind Nine Block? Like, what's the, like, where where did Nine Block, uh, like, you know what I'm saying? For real, for real. We was from? called L&B back in the day. You know, we got hated on for? fights. Niggas embarrassing shit to other niggas. Niggas embarrassing us. All typical young nigga shit, you feel me? But we we really changed our name because we we the ninth street on the south side. So you mm. feel me? So we, and I'm the 900 that. block of the south side. So we said, fuck it. We about to just be called the nine. But LMB still there, you feel me? We love our brothers. But nine block is gang. That's us. Like, right. we, and we got real, real ties with this shit for years. So, and everybody you see with me ain't it ain't no new niggas it's just niggas that that see the family or been my niggas since fucking elementary school you feel me we ain't so we ain't changing up, up if you blow up you taking everybody with you i'm taking anybody that i can with me anybody that's gonna be solid with me you feel me it ain't just about like if we family like because i got family that ain't even family if you get what i'm saying yeah, you feel me? so me. if you solid nigga we we going to the top together for sure um so boom, I asked you two questions already. Like, what was your upbringing like? Like, was it hard? Was it like I silver said, spoon? Was it? I was raised by my mom for real and my grandma. Mm -hmm. My dad was he was in and out. You feel me? Not his fault type shit. My dad did thirteen years. He when he got back into my life, he was a hundred percent there. You feel me? But then I also got a stepdad. My mom got married and shit. Y'all might know my stepdad. Go get a haircut. Transformations barbershop for real. Okay. You feel me? And. It just, okay. they are the typical young nigga bringing up like bad in school, getting suspended. I was expelled like three times, you feel me, growing up. But that, that shit ain't cool, but you feel me? But I also was smart too, straight A's. Never, you feel me? You can't be dumb doing bad shit because that shit don't mix. Right. This is uh, like a little bonus question, but I did hear you was fighting in school and shit. I heard they called you Debo, like, you feel me? Like, so you must have really been official, huh? <coughs> type shit. And I be terrorizing shit, feel me? So they called me a bully, so they like Debo. My mom even called me that shit. <coughs> so it ain't like a, a a name that I gave myself, <coughs> feel me? It's like a <coughs> bring it name. Right. Um, that's what's up, my fault, that's my fault. <coughs> but um, <laughs> um, that's what's up though, so like, since like they called you Debo and shit, that's like a bully name. Like so, size don't matter for real. Like <laughs> that shit don't it's matter about to the me. heart. You, you feel me? I got yeah, heart. Yeah, I, that's what's up. Anybody that know me, nigga, I don't care about one boss, nigga. Then the battle, 
the battle ain't over with me and my niggas, you feel me? We the underdogs in Akron, and I, and I always felt like that. Right. But at the end of the day, we gonna eat. Niggas gonna be niggas, you feel me? We gonna do what we gotta do. So, with you being an underdog, like you just said, what do you think it takes to blow, like, just in general? To be like, honest, to like... To blow, like, in the music industry. A lot of these niggas I see doing the same shit, not saying they ass, you feel me? And you good at what you do, you fake it till you make it type shit, you feel me? But, like, a lot of niggas ain't authentic. Like, me and my niggas, we different. We don't rap like other niggas. I ain't gonna say all my niggas, but me and my niggas that do rap, like, for real, like, that really be on this shit, like, we different. Like, we, so y'all come, we coming real. different. We bringing a whole drill scene, real lyrical song. scene. Nigga, if you want R&B, nigga, we got that. You feel me? We got females in the gang that scene. You feel me? We coming different. Niggas right. ain't doing what we doing. Right. It's just we getting underlooked. Them niggas rapping about the same things or up with another nigga, what other niggas do in their city. That shit ain't gonna keep flying, though. You feel me? We gonna have our time. Right, so, uh, actually, that was the first question I wrote. Who is your favorite rapper in Akron besides yourself? <clears throat> Ooh. I say Nardo G. You know, Nardo Akron G? nigga that made me want to rap, too. You feel me? I'm not hip to him. I'm really not. I'm bro, have to go get him. Bro, bro, nice. I ain't gonna lie. He got me wanting to rap, too. I keep with him. I say, <clears throat> I say Liz, uh, Gator, and... I keep it a hundred young, a young, a nigga, he brought my age, nigga, Jig, he hard too. Uh, Jig, Jig, I don't know his name, but he hard. So you a little feature with Jig? Yeah. You heard that here first, Jig, feature. So Real hard. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I don't know him though. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I do know Jig. Yep, I just yep. watched this shit. He actually cool for real. You actually cool for real, bro. You, you versatile. I fuck with you. Keep making music. Um, do, 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 do. All right, um, so look, this question, I'm going to ask everybody on the show, everybody on the show, what made you start showing with Terrio Films? I mean, you my nigga, bro. You've been my nigga since, nigga, before the videos, you feel me? So I got you always got to show support to the black community or who in your city, you feel me? You don't just, you don't do no bullshit, fuck with niggas just for the, for what they, just for who they is. Like, you feel me? You do the, you, you be there for your niggas, you feel me? I call you my nigga. I got to support you, you feel me? All right, so my next question on my list, uh, do you think buying views is cool? Like, what's your prerogative on buying views? Like, the whole thing of buying views, like, and there's no look. There's no <coughs> bad answer before you answer this question. Right? <coughs> see, me, see, me personally, I don't buy views, but <coughs> that's what a label going to do. Right. You feel me? A label going to buy most of your views. That's very true. Like real shit, low. Like, so a lot of niggas that saying buying views is bad. Nigga, when you get on, that's what it's gonna, that's how it's gonna be, nigga. You gotta pay to play. You feel me? You can't think, oh, I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna be the shit. Everybody, no, it's not just that. It's your label free. helping you. You feel me? They not, they not. You not just doing it yourself. Like you, you feel me? You got the talent to do it yourself, but at the same time, it's always hell. He broke cool. Okay. You feel me? Like. Niggas don't understand that shit, but ain't nothing wrong with that shit. I just don't do it personally. Type shit. You hear that? Your label gonna pay for your bills, so <coughs> I don't know if how you wanna take that, but that's the question. That's how he answered it. All right. Uh, so what city you from? What city you from? I'm from Akron. You feel me? From Akron. I'm, All the way, like you was raised in Akron. Raised in Akron. You feel me? But my mom, she, 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 she huh? from Tennessee. You feel me? Tennessee. My dad, he from here. My mom from the west side. My dad from from the west side. But like I grew up. I grew up everywhere around this bitch, but so like, you mess with every side of town. Like I ain't gonna say every side of town, like, but not like, even on no op shit. But you like, know what I mean. I got I got family from every side of town, but like where I could jumped off the porch at, and really started learning street shit and getting wing wing to the game. It's the South Side, you feel me? Real double S baby, you feel me? We put on for the young niggas over here because really ain't no young niggas. We the only young niggas on the right. South. You feel me? So a lot it's like of niggas don't. Wave. A lot of niggas don't know. Like you feel me? We, it's it's like really one big rapper from the south, and that's Shotty. You feel me? But mm -hmm. Shotty Sh boy. Yeah, Shotty okay. boy. That's my people's cousin. You feel me? Like my brother's uh, Carmine and Smirk's cousin. You feel me? Shout out to him too, bro. Nice. Yeah, he does his thing. He does his thing. Don't, don't but, him you feel me? I'm. I'm a real south side baby. Me and my niggas really step on this on this south every day. Doing what every we day. Do. Every day. So with that being said, like, even if like you know, sometimes 
Sometimes I ain't gonna pick his highlights in his music shit and then his lows in his music shit. You feel me? Like, how do you handle that and how, like, what keeps you motivated to keep going? Like, you know what I mean? Keep making music, bro. You feel me? Because everything. it's always something that's gonna give. You feel me? You can't feel like it's just it. You feel me? You gotta really, if you care about something, you gotta do it. Because, like, I ain't gonna lie, rapping ain't my number one dream, but it's my dream. You feel me? It's like number two to me. You feel so me? I'm what's gonna, your biggest dream? I wanna make films, movies, and shit. You feel me? But rapping is like something I'm good at. I know I can do, so I can take that shit to the top. Why not? Like I believe I can do anything. You know what's crazy though? I'm actually trying to film a movie with all iPhones this summer, like real shit. Like you feel me? I'm gonna buy all the sticks. You feel me? Just have niggas do it, so we ain't making no bootleg guys movie. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I do. I so make actors, my own, I write my own little scripts and in. shit for yeah. movies and my own TV shows and shit. We about to be coming out with that soon. And we got Nine Block Studios on the way, you feel me? If anybody need to come record. That's the Two next locations. Question. This was, where did that question go? I said, I said, hold on, where it go? Oh, here it go. I said, do you think it's important for, uh, like, do you think it's as important in 2022 to year 22, like, to have an engineer? Yeah. As it was in the past. Yeah. You guys bad it's about the engineer. You can't just go to anybody. Cause anybody don't know you can't can't get your voice right. Everybody don't know your voice or know who you is. So I feel, I advise everybody pick who they engineer is wisely. Just don't go to the nigga that's giving you a deal. Like that shit out the ass. Cause you go to these white people, you go go pay them everything. If it's a black brother, you go support that man. No matter how much it is, you feel me? You gotta do what you gotta do to get where you wanna go. You always pay to play. For real. For sure. The reason why I asked that question, though, like, you know, like, the new wave of rappers like uh, Jace and Can Can and even Trippy Red, you know, artists like K-Suave and things, they, uh, they shoot, like, they record at their own house and stuff. Like, it's not really, like, you know what I mean, an engineer-type situation. They may pay to get it mixed, but, right. you know, a lot of people are real portable. Like, I seen uh, Y&J in a car on his way to Ohio, and you feel me? He was, like, really recording in, in his car, like, himself. So, he, you know what I mean? It mean, like, I feel like you should have the, the motherfucker that really love doing that shit, touching yeah, your man, shit. Yeah. Like, Always. see me, I'm not no engineer. I'm a rapper. I do not engineer. Like, I'm not about to... If I'm not start, starting off with that shit, bro, I'm not about to do that shit. You feel me? Like, it's not me. It's like, you can learn it. Any, I'm not saying nobody can learn nothing, but you're never going to do that shit better than somebody that love that shit. That's been their dream since day one. You feel me? Like, our engineer, he been an engineer for 12 years. My uh, niggas did this shit for... Yeah, I did work on him. In the shy, all types of shit. You feel me? He ain't no... He ain't no little dog in this shit, but he underdog. If you get what I'm saying, like right. niggas might not know him, but niggas know him. Mm -hmm. If you get what I'm saying, bro, we we really trying Shout to do big to things this year. Don't tap in with Dark. They get you right. Boss quick. man, Dark man. Quick, quick. Um, you got any projects coming soon? Yeah, I got this uh, EP that I'm coming out with, Akbar Akbar. You feel me? It, it's something my niggas be calling me because I be speaking, I be preaching, you feel me? So I'm about to, I got some new shit, some drill shit. Like, that's my new wave that I'm coming. I'm bringing the Akron drill wave. Right. Like, ain't no niggas drilling, drill rapping in Akron. That's my shit, you feel me? I got I got this shit going, so I'm going to keep it going, you feel me? Like, and we got a gang mixtape, too, 443 Babies Gang of the Year, you feel me? Don't sleep on that. And I got a project out right now. And I got my brother Reese Love, you feel me? My brother Wuka with the pole, they rap. You feel me? Just go look us up, like 443 Babies. We on everything. That's my next question. So who out of your gang do you feel is the most slept on? Like, and I'm not trying to put you against your people, but out of all your gang, like who you really know, like like on some Lil Dirk, King Von type shit. Like, that's the one, like, you feel me? My nigga, my nigga Dada. My nigga dead Dada. daughter, you feel me? He, For sure. he, cause like I'm only reason why I say that because he uh been he actually been doing this doing shit this like shit. Yeah. with me yeah. and I rap with him all the time. Type shit. All my niggas can rap like all my niggas don't get some of this shit. It's shit. just on a level like my nigga daughter he he. He take music serious, like he about to be an engineer too, you feel me? That's why I say he on another level with this shit. I just rap, you feel me? Like he good too, you feel me? Like, that's my nigga, you feel me? My, and I say, uh, my brother CJ too. CJ? Yep. He nice too, he just, 
He he underrated. He don't drop. But y'all, he gonna be dropping soon. So that's what's up. Like, but that was good. That was a good explanation about your game and shit. But let me ask you this: Who is twenty two? Well, 22, is 22? Man, what is 22 about to be and what is you finna do? You feel me? See, this whole year, the rest of this year, we about to take over. We about to be in Indiana. We about to go to Chicago. We about to go to the A. And then we taking off to Texas. You feel me? So, we ain't playing this year. We coming for the whole the rest of 2022. And Vegas, and we got Vegas. You feel me? We about to cut. We coming, bro. We we slept on. We might not got Akron, but we got Cleveland. We got LA. We got New York. We got we got every every other place popping with us. Yeah, you I me? understand the feeling. I understand the feeling. I really do. I really do. So, if you could have any feature. Any feature, like any feature, like money not a problem. Like you feel me? Like you feel me? You know this bitch gonna bust. You get this feature. Like you notice the one. Like you get the expensivest. Like you get everything for the video. Like whatever you want on demand. Like this right. shit a fucking dream. Like who would it be with and what would you do? I ain't gonna lie, little baby. Lil Baby, cause he popping. That nigga winning artist of the year. Like three, he wrote won that bitch like three years straight. I'm fucking with him, cause that bitch busting. Everything he put out, he only be dropping like three songs a year, and that nigga busting. Him, or I'm just going with uh fucking Drake. Drake all day. Drake, I mean, that what, nigga take you to the Nike that? company. <laughs> <laughs> He definitely gonna have you on NBA games for free. Oh God! Oh, the front row, nigga, on camera there. Like that's twenty two, right there, right there, <laughs> nigga. Do so, yeah, gonna let you hop on the court and act bad or something. Gonna be the crispy ass picture. I swear to God. On the game. I swear to God, man. I swear to God. So why you cut your hair? It wasn't me. You feel me? Like, and I'm about to start something new. Like, I might just get. I might. I might stick with the nappy fro. You feel me? Like I always that's always been me. That's what I grew up with. I'ma keep it. You feel me? No more dreads. Nah. I'm feeling That's crazy. Feeling more feeling, feeling more rejuvenated. You feel me? A lot of a nigga that took a lot of L's but a nigga bouncing back. You feel me? Still getting money. Every everywhere. That's what's up, man. Um so you think, as an artist, like, do you think the clothes make the artist, like, the drip, the appearance? Are you feeling me? Like, could it just be their music, like, solo of their music? Like, I mean, saying, now, like, nowadays, you gotta, it's off the wave, what's going on? Like, you, it's off the, it's not just off the music no more. It's off what you got on, what you doing, how you presenting yourself, who you with, what gang you rap, you feel me? Niggas going off of it. Background. Yeah, you feel me? Like, like in my city, I feel like we the FBG Ducks, oh, and everybody cool. else like I get what you're saying. The little Dirks, the King Bonds, and shit. You feel me? We underdog, right. like it's fuck. But we doing just what them niggas doing, but it's getting mm -hmm. underlooked. Mm -hmm. If you get what I'm saying. But it's like nowadays, you gotta be what everybody else want for real. But a lot of niggas don't do it. A lot of niggas do do it. So the real niggas that don't do it though, you see them, they standing out and becoming something, you feel mm -hmm. me? But the other niggas, they just following the trend and they end up becoming a wave, like either they song popping, something happened to them, niggas turning on them, you feel me? It's just a whole lot of bullshit. It's real tweaky. So the goal is, if what is the goal? You want to get a record deal or are you trying to stay independent or? The goal is for real, like, we trying to get like, me personally and my peoples, we want we want a, a label deal, basically, because I got my LLC and shit. You feel me? I own I own nine block. You feel me? So we gonna get a, a label deal. But if it come, if I have to get a record deal and then put it that way, like and spread the money around, I will. You feel me? That's how I am. Same shit. You feel me? But like the end goal is a deal, like to get to the top, like shit shit on everybody. <laughs> shit on everybody. Real shit, Biggie BK, you feel me? We don't, we ain't sparing nobody. We ain't, we don't, we ain't showing no love. It, no twenty, the rest of twenty twenty two and twenty twenty three. Why do you think you're different than different, uh, every other artist? Then 
I think I'm different. Like, like honestly, I, like why do you feel like like if we was at like one of them little showcases or something that was like you win this, you get a free trip and a record deal and a feature with a little baby. Like to me, perform. I feel like I'm different. Why do you think you gonna go on the stage and shit on everybody else? Because like I don't rap like everybody else. I'm not trap rapping. I'm not trying to be Detroit. I'm not trying to be somebody I'm not. Or even if that is me, rap like another nigga. You feel me? I got my own style, my own my own flow. Like every everything I say is dope. Everything my niggas say is dope. But they sound is different. We do. But that's why I say Southside. We got a different sound. We do not stand with the rest of Akron. You cannot put us with with them. We doing our own thing. Now, I'm not saying nobody ass. You y'all good at what y'all doing, but like I, I advise you niggas to start making their own flows or doing their own thing. A lot of niggas, but it's a lot of accurate niggas that do do their own shit that I feel like get underdog. You feel me? It's a lot of them, not just us. We just one of them. You feel me? It's just a lot of these niggas though. They ain't, they ain't fucking with us, bro. I, I'm gonna just say that. Mm. Mm, let me see if I got any more questions for you. So what genre you describe your music at this point in time? Like, not even just the drill. Like, if somebody was like, if you was in a party right now, alternative, like, that's, that's not a genre. Yeah, well, I, I mean, think... you know what I mean. Like, I like the answer, but you know what I'm saying? Like, we was just at a party and a random group of, like, 15 white bitches came up like, you rap? What, yeah. what, kind, of, what kind of rapper are you? I'm like, you feel me? I'm more of a... I do... Uh, I'm a storyteller and I'm like a mood rapper. I'm like I I could put people in the mood. Like I say I'm more I you could put me in the same category as the Fredo Bangs and them like type shit. Type shit or fucking uh who now nah, I wouldn't say young boy, I say like Quando Rondos, like them type niggas, but I'm still a little bit more different than them. I'm just a nigga that's gonna make you get a better mood or, Whatever mood you in, type shit, I can do that shit. Like, I'm a club banger ass nigga, you feel me? I'm mm -hmm. versatile. I say I'm versatile as fuck, Kodak type, type mm -hmm. shit. I'm low key high, so I forgot my <laughs> next question. But, uh, so, so if you got all the money right now, where are you moving your team to? What, what's the state? What's the city? Why? You feel me? What you gonna do when you get out there besides music, besides the films? Like, you feel me? What you what you out there doing, man? What we pushing, man? Where you at? We going Where y'all to Texas. Posted, are going to Texas? We going to Texas. I'm posting in Houston. I got some niggas down there. Bricks. Hear me out on that 808. Just was a young bull in the field dodging jakes. And with that AI, I make spirits elevate. I better be on time, cause that money, it won't wait. I'm a G, rocking all that.